guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this problem without a calculator. So we have 2 to the power of 18 minus 1. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. And the same thing goes vice versa. a to the power of m times n can be written as a to the power of m to the power of n. So now we have 2 to the power of 18 here, and 18 can be written as 9 times 2. So let's say this is 2 to the power of 9 times 2. We have minus 1. And remember, if we have something in the form a to the power of m times n, we could write this as a to the power of m to the power of n. So now we could write this as 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2 minus 1. And 2 to the power of 9 to the power of 2, well, this can be written as 2 to the power of 9 times 2 to the power of 9, because it's just 2 to the power of 9 2 times. Minus 1. Now, 2 to the power of 9 is equal to 512. You guys should know that because you guys should memorize your powers of 2. So now we have 512 times 512 minus 1. Now 512 times 512, this is equal to 262,144. And now our minus 1, we simply subtract 1. So now this would be 262,143. So this is our answer. Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. So we have 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this can be written as a to the power of m times n. And the same thing can also be vice versa. If we have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this can be written as a to the power of m to the power of n. So right here we have 9. And 9, this is equal to 3 squared, right? 9 is equal to 3 squared. So I'm going to first replace all our 9s here with 3 squared. So we have 3 squared to the power of 10 plus, again, 3 squared to the power of 10 plus, 3 squared to the power of 10. And now, as you can see, our, all three of our terms are in the form a to the power of m to the power of n. And remember, that is equal to a to the power of m times n. So this would equal 3 to the power of 2 times 10. And the same goes for the other two. Now, 2 times 10 is 20. So we have 3 to the power of 2, or sorry, 3 to the power of 20 plus 3 to the power of 20 plus 3 to the power of 20. 
And now if we factor out 3 to the power of 20 from this, we get 3 to the power of 20 times 3 to the power of 20 divided by 3 to the power of 20 is 1. And same goes for the other two. So now we have 3 to the power of 20 times 1 plus 1 plus 1. And 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So now we have 3 to the power of 20 times 3. And let's say we have a to the power of m times a to the power of n. This is going to be a to the power of m plus n. So 3 to the power of 20 times 3. Well, 3 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1. So this would be 3 to the power of 20 plus 1, which is 3 to the power of 21. So this is our answer. Thank you.